Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit School Board Knowledge. Okay, typically most of my Revit tutorial is focusing how to make facade design and mostly I got photo reference from Pinterest, Adelie and Instagram. Then I recently encountered why not make a tutorial about custom facade design by Adaptive Panel because it's easier and give you guys another concept to apply on your project school and dealing with your customer or client. Okay, so today I decided to make another tutorial by create custom facade design. It's our custom review tutorial also and Okay, I think it's pretty much for introduction. Let's jump into our tutorial together because I don't want to waste your time for introduction. Okay, so here we are in Revit Architecture template. So what I'm going to do in order to make our facade design. So I'm going to give you guys a quick workflow. First thing I will straight away go to our family. Go to file over there as away. Then go to new. Go to our family. Then I straight away finding for let me change first. I straight away finding for curtain panel pattern best is our adaptive panel. Just hit open up. One I open that repeat will be transform me to another page. Okay, here we are in curtain panel pattern best. So what I'm going to do first. Firstly, we need to adjustment our panel first and secondly we will provide our point to make our solid form and void form. Then now I'm going to our first step, select my panel over there. Then from here, our property panel over there, I can adjustment our horizontal spacing on vertical spacing. I will make it 500 by 500, just make it small. Then let's apply. Okay, now once we done that, let's create another point to make our facade. I will make it as fast as can. First thing, we go to our model over there, then go to our point. I will press for center here one and two hit escape a couple of time one I done that I go to model again then this time we use our line and use our draw and first make sure you turn on for 3d snapping so I straight away try to connect it just connect all of them sorry again just connect all of them like this hit escape a couple of time then I'm going to press another point here Let's press our point, slide from center here, and start center here again, hit escape. Then I'm going to select this guy. One, I select this guy. When I go to our property panel there, I can straight away just go down finding for our normalized curve parameter for spacing. I will tie it out for 0.2 millimeter. So our spacing from here to here is 20%. So I'm going to our point again, press another one here for center and this time I'm going to adjustment here make it for 0 0.8 hit apply mean from our beginning point here until here is 80% the reason I press this point here because I want to create the void extrusion here because make our facade is more interesting then here you need to adjustment also same thing before we will tie it out for 0 0.8 is apply as you can see here then I'm going to press another one hit a sketch select here again then we apply it to 0 0.2 okay perfectly it's time to connect that I just connect all of them straight away connect from first point to second point third point and four point and to first point again hit a sketch a couple of time once I done that I will select all of them then make it for it's a reference line again i'm going to select all of them again and make our line here to it's a reference line also okay perfectly once i done that i will go to create form then make it for solid form i think and make it for extrusion and of course i will adjustment for thickness also i think make it for 200 is no issue then i'm going to select our panel inside there then again go to create form and this time we make it for void form okay like this then i need to move it up actually I need to move and we for move i just move it up about 25 millimeter let's see how 
okay let's select our panel again like this then here I'm going to offset about 25 we offset it 20 and make it 400 it's apply okay I think here we need to minus because it's a positive negative sorry okay perfectly it's cutting then actually I want to cut more make it 150 okay perfectly then I'm going to create another panel there is a flat one first thing I'm going to our model again go to our line we just connect all of them hit a sketch then select the four point here I think I need to select here first make all of them is a reference line first okay perfect then we can select another guy here then we can straight away create our solid form make extrusion also but this time I will give a dimension only 20 millimeter okay perfectly as you can see here and now I can play around with that I will make it more extrusion first thing you need to unlock here first I need to unlock here then we'll just like here again so here I can pull it up like this and another side here I can pull up another one just make it like this okay then here I can make it down like this yep then here I can make it you can play around with that okay I think like this it perfectly once I done that we need to assign our material parameter as well before assign to our consumption mass I just like all of them like this and hold control key hit the tab key again hold control key for multiple selection go to our property panel then go to material and finishes go to our material by category then create a new material now I will type out for facade just make it for facade go to our appearance library as a way then in the case I prefer using for wood because make my facade is more interesting and some more our dimension only 500 by 500 not issue that we make our facade by using wool construction like this apply it's okay then let's change it to realistic okay I think our material haven't applied yet that's why it become gray color we go it again as you can see here let's go one by one okay so you can make it for a parameter as well make it for facade material like this is a parameter already then here we need to make for a parameter as well assign here symmetry is okay okay one I done that I can go back to my 3d here or I can load into my project just load in then I will start from our top view go to our massing and size then go to our in place mass mass one then I just take away start from here I think I will use our point here the reason for that because I want the actual red side I will copy that make it for 5 meter hit a sketch then I can connect this two guy here spline through point select like this make our work at form solid form drag down line from here like this then I can barely here or uh, make it for 5 meter or so hit a sketch select all of them like this go to the wire surface and go to our surface representation because I want to turn on for nodes turn on for node is apply then here I'm going to adjustment here so before I processing my panel make this then make it 500 is correct and here make it for this then 500 by 500 is perfectly is apply then cm for placing element for shortcut key then I can straight away press here okay come on I think we make it like this 
hit escape change this one to our realistic form then i can select here just go to repeat tab as you can see here it's quite nice and quite realistic for our facade design that's how you can create a parametric architect facade design some more you can change it to aluminum panel also i think using aluminum panel and for the backing there you can add some kind of hollow system steel to support mounting with your concrete wall okay so here we done already i just hit finish up let's me adjustment first we go to our section bump and i can select here like this make it like this like this okay too much Okay, let's make it smaller, easier to take a look. Okay, as you can see here, then here I'm going to hide it out. If you want to make a section for representation, that is the final section representation. Okay guys, I think it's pretty much for our custom facade design. I hope you got learned something new about that and okay so before I finish up I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about Revit make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification so you won't miss my future tutorial because I got a lot an idea to bring more content about Revit thank you guys for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revit and have a nice day thank you